the owner of this hamster had visited two vets. The first vet referred her to the second vet who gave her eye drops to treat the eye style with. But the eye style was too large to be treated with eye drops. So, how will we treat this hamster? How will we convince her that the right course of action is what Dr. Singh suggests? Watch this video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. How digital photography inspires confidence in the doctor's diagnosis. This video contains surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. So this six-month-old hamster, right, no. mom, right has uh, probably sand bath, gone for a sand bath, right, and then the, the sand might have gone into the right eye. No, he has seen two vets. Uh, the second vet was referred by the first vet. And second vet says there's a sty. Now from what we can see, it's definitely conjunctivitis or red. An eye sty forms when foreign material enters the eye, which irritates the oil glands in the eyelid. The oil glands become swollen and blocked, and an eye sty is formed. Here is an example of an eye sty. There are two methods to treat an eye sty. For larger eye sty, the doctor needs to make an incision on the sty, then drain out the pus in the sty. Smaller eye sty can be treated with just eye drops and medication, and it may go away on its own. Day 1 The hamster is sedated with anesthesia to ensure that taking a photograph of its eye is easier. Digital photographs of the hamster were taken to be shown as evidence to the owner. First, the hamster is sedated with gas anesthesia. After the hamster is sedated with anesthesia, the vet takes a picture of the hamster. Without anesthesia, this will be difficult as the hamster will struggle around and make it hard to get a clear picture. How the final image is arrived at Step 1. Take a photo using a close-up lens. This is the 18 to 300mm lens that was used. Here is the original image taken by the camera. Step 2. Crop out eye area using Adobe Photoshop. This is the crop tool used to crop out the eye area. And this is the edited image that we got. On the left is the original image, and on the right is the close-up of the image. We can see that the eye sty is on the left side of the eye, and how much clearer it is. What are the benefits of this method? Number one, hamsters have small eyes, so this method allows us to see what exactly the problem is. Number two, the photograph can be shown to the owner, which gives them peace of mind that the doctor's diagnosis is correct. After the owner was shown the image, she opted to bring her hamster home and try to treat it herself. This is because the previous two vets she consulted were unable to treat her hamster, and she was not confident in Dr. Sin's diagnosis. Day 7, owner brought hamster back as the eye was still closed. Repeating the same process, Dr. Singh took a photograph of the eye and edited it. He showed it to the owner and convinced her surgery was necessary. Then the hamster was sent for surgery. Okay, Sunday. 20th August 2017, the owner brought back the hamster back because the right eye is still closed and uh, has not fully recovered despite a treatment of eye drops. We can see the original image on the left and the close up on the right. We can see that another eye sty has formed on the right side of the eye. In the removal of this large sty, Dr. Sin first performs an incision on the sty. Then, the pus within the sty is drained out. Post-operation day 2, bleeding has stopped and eye drops and medication will be given. There's no more bleeding. Uh, see, no more bleeding. You can see, the, eye, the eyeball is still there, no more bleeding. Oh. So, I need... so, it's much better now. We so is going home today or tomorrow. Uh, I drop the medication. medication.
Dr. Singh repeated the same procedure and edited the image of the hamster's eye. He then showed the owner the photograph and assured her that the hamster was recovering well. On the left is the original image, and on the right is the edited image which is much clearer. Here we can see that 4 days after surgical incision and drainage of sty in the upper eyelid of the right eye, the wound is healing well. In conclusion, there are numerous advantages of digital photography. Digital photography can let us see things that are too small to be seen normally, such as a hamster eye sty. It also provides evidence of the presence of the sty, which inspires confidence in the doctor's diagnosis and treatment. For more information, call us at the following number, visit us at topelavets.com or email us at the following address. Be kind to pet veterinary educational videos. Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, BVMS, Glasgow, MRCVS, Consultant Vet, Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, Yangon, Myanmar. Dr. Daniel Singh Jongchen, BSC, BVMS, Murdoch.